Oh, it jammed on me. No! Hi, uh, Fred. Hi, uh, Fred. Good morning, man. Yo, yo, yo! Good morning to y'all as well. I don't know if you're watching it during the morning time, but it's definitely morning here. It's 7 o'clock in the a.m., and I am absolutely loving it. We're going to get out on a little solo adventure today with, that's right, the old 20 gauge, my Mossberg pump. A lot of you guys have requested for me to go do a solo hunt with the old 20 gauge Mossberg, and we're finally doing it. Today I was actually debating, should I do a hunt with the 22 or the 20 gauge? And I decided to go with the 20 gauge for the simple fact where we're going, this farm has a lot of sparrows and a lot of starlings, but it's the same place we shot the squirrel and the rabbit. So there's a mixture of species, but with how many birds are there, I'm thinking we're probably gonna need a shotgun. But if we see a rabbit or a squirrel, you know what's gonna happen. But if you guys wanna see that 22 video, you gotta let me know down in the comment section below. I'll be sure to do it if you guys wanna see it. But before we get on the road here, we gotta do our chores. And the last time we did this with me trying to hold the camera almost turned out really bad. So we're gonna see if we can do it a little better this time. Close it, close it, nope, nope, okay. Not bad, not bad that time. Yeah, old Clark, old Clark the pigeon, he is a mess, an absolute mess. He's always spilling his water bowl, he's always spilling his food, but it's been all right having him. Not too bad at all, not too bad at all. Except for the one time he almost got out. That wasn't good. But real fast, I usually don't do a lot of sponsored videos. You guys know that. Uh, but with YouTube just cracking down on the, on the demonetization, uh, you guys know in one of the last demonetization uh, updates I did over the channel, I told you guys, hey, with the amount of demonetization that the channel is getting hit with, we're gonna have to start doing some sponsored ads, and that's what today is. The brand of this flashlight is Olight. They got a hold of me, they sent me an email, and they are like, Bobby, we have a flashlight that is 2,100 lumens, that big, and it'll throw 2,100 lumens 1,080 yards out. Would you like to try one? And I'm like, you know what? Send me one. That sucker sounds BA. And I got it. And to say the least, guys, I was shocked. Thank goodness I have a 50-foot shop to show you in, but check out how bright this bad boy is. The other night, I wish it was dark out so I could really show you, but the other night, I was shining it, and I was like, oh my goodness. But we're going to shut the door here. Check that out. So it's got different phases. I think that is the bright one. Yep, so one, two, three, four phases, and that bad boy right there will project for 1,080 feet. Just insane, the beam that this thing puts out. The other night I was out here and I was shining it around when it was pitch dark out. That big tree way over there, I could light the entire thing up, the entire thing. Honestly, if you're looking for the last flashlight of your lifetime, this is gonna be it. It's got a little magnetic back on it. It's how you charge it. It's really, really cool. There's a lot of technology in this light. If you guys wanna pick up one, I will link it down in the description below. Big shout out to Olight for hooking it up on this video. Oh boy, what a lovely morning we have out here. I love getting out here on these solo hunts. I'm so glad you guys like them as well because getting out here on just a small solo hunt, not expecting to shoot anything, honestly. Whatever we do shoot on these solo hunts, it's always so rewarding. So rewarding. If you guys have never done a solo hunt, get out on a solo dove hunt this year. Go solo pigeon hunting. Go solo squirrel or rabbit hunting. You will fall in love with it. The old 20 gauge, man, I have not sported the old 20 gauge in quite some time, let me tell you. Here we go, we are off. By the way, this is a Mossberg 500 20 gauge and uh, it has not been cleaned in a dog's age, I mean, I don't know, it's probably been well over 10 years, but the uh, the tube here where you slide your shells in, yeah, that's all rusty, and that needs to be oiled and cleaned extremely, extremely badly. But, man, having the old 20 gauge in my hands feels good, I miss the old girl. So today it's gonna be sparrows, starling, Eurasian dove, if we see that, which I doubt it, rabbits and squirrels that's about our five options it's a pretty good five options though if you guys are liking this hunt smash that thumbs up for your boy 
I'd love to get a little mix bag down today. That'd be nice. Oh my, those are all starlings right there. Holy smokes. So a lot of you guys know that's been watching the channel. Family groups of starlings are in abundance because they just had a bunch of babies in spring. Now they're all learning to fly. Oh, it jammed on me. No! Ah, oh, this 20 gauge is rusty. But the starling just came back. I didn't even scare him too bad. He is a young fella. So, good news here. That was a big swing and a big miss. But we have a lot of young starlings in the area, which is good. We should get a couple more shots off. Remember guys, always pick up your empties. The bad thing is, is that this 20 gauge is not performing very good at all my fault i should have checked it and oiled her up and cleaned it that is that is dumb bob the rabbits like to stay up in this stuff a lot gotta go around and kick it no rabbits home today okay man look at how tall the weeds are holy smokes the last month we have had a ton of rain and all these weeds have just sprouted oh my goodness if there was a rabbit on the ground we would be lucky to even see it today oh another juvenile starling missed him too man i am not accurate with this 20 gauge i'll tell you that right now the bugs out here are horrible Woof. Well, we've taken two shots. These starlings are coming back to these trees. That's where they roost and where they rest. And uh, they like this flight line right here. They'll buzz right over you. That, one, that, la that last one I shot at was very, very light brown. That means he is a juvenile starling. But we're going to go do some adventuring, see what we can get into. Probably come back up this way at the end. Bunch of birds in these treetops in here. I think that's gonna be the next move well I have to tell you guys if you guys come and do this type of hunting during the summer always wear long sleeves if the mosquitoes are bad in your area I wish I would have brought some bug spray but I didn't so I do recommend that dead starling oh man that's gonna be hard to find him that's gonna be hard I thought I heard one. I looked up in this dead tree. Oh, look, three more right there. I thought I heard it looked up. That dead tree was full of them. Now we gotta see if we can find it. Holy smokes, this is chest high weeds here, boys. Oh my goodness. Might be impossible. Should be right here, though. well there we go i found him that is an all-out juvie starling right there check him out just brown as all get out usually adult starlings you're gonna find them jet black but like i said earlier uh the spring hatch for these guys must have been amazing with all the abundance of water because there are brown juvies everywhere put him in the bag oh well just like i said earlier it is rough finding the birds that you drop out here. It literally took me almost, I bet you almost 10 minutes to find that bird. And it was literally right there. But we're gonna keep on keeping on here. Look, there's two high shooters. Oh, whew, I do know what, I already miss. I already miss my 12 gauge. I gotta tell you right now, I miss it. I miss being able to reach out there and touch them. That's what worries me when I come on these hunts is, are, am I gonna be able to hit what i want to you know what i mean but that's also the fun of coming out here because you never know what's going to happen man these weeds make it hard i did not expect these weeds to be this tall goodness actually actually this isn't weeds this is something else i knew i smelled something funny <laughs> Oh, boy, how 
everybody it is warm outside goodness i am literally sweating up a storm it's so hot out here Woo! but check it out check out that freedom hat from ducks bad boy ain't it if you want to pick one up i will link it down in the description below that was a short hunt that's pretty much all she wrote for the hunt and uh i didn't want to just cut this video short i'm like what can we do and i'm like we need to incorporate the pigeon hunting with the starling hunting. Duh. So that's what we're going to do now is we're going to head over to the truck stop. We're going to sit out some feed. We're going to bait some pigeons. And we're going to sit out all the pigeon traps as well. Well, we are here and check it out. A good group of pigeons right here. A pretty white one. Heck yeah. It is early for them to be here, really early. But they weren't over there on the big pile. They were actually over here on the other side of this nasty water. Woof. This is what they're feeding on. What do we got here? Yeah, we got Milo. Lots of Milo. That's some good looking stuff. Well, I decided what to do. We got the traps all set out, all baited and ready to go. This one here, this is the big Milo pile. Check out all this Milo, literally. I actually filled up our bowl. We're gonna take back and uh, feed Clark the pigeon. But we have the big trap here on this pile. And then over here, we have a really, really deep little pile of Milo. Check out how much is there. Put the old spring trap right here with the food right on the tray. And we get to take home Clark some yummy Milo. He'll like that. If you guys haven't seen the pigeon trapping videos, they have been absolutely epic. I've had a ton of fun doing them. You guys have really enjoyed them over there. So if you haven't checked them out, you need to go check them out. I'll actually link them at the end of this video. I figured I'd try this today as well. I'm gonna set one of my pigeon decoys right there, making it look like he's eating from that there tray. You never know, right? One of you guys on the last trapping video, you guys were like, dude, you need to put your decoys out there either in the traps or on the traps just to make the birds comfortable. Oh, and I've debated doing it, but to be honest with you, I didn't know if it would actually scare the birds or not because decoys look great and all. To us, they look real, but the more you use them, the more you can see that pigeons don't really like them because they're not moving. But we're gonna give it a try. Well, we're back at the house here. And he's freaking out already. I'm gonna put some of that Milo in there for him. See how he likes that Milo. He should love it. There you go, Carl. There you go. But back here at the house, as you can tell, and check it out, Fred is still at it. Just chewing everything up. He has completely destroyed the old shop chair. I've been working him more, trying to get him tired out more, get rid of a lot of energy to prevent the chewing. I got him a cow bone. I got him a deer antler like you all said. And he still just chews and chews. If you guys have any more ideas of what I need to be doing with uh, old Frederick here, yeah. Dude, you gotta quit. I'm telling you what, you're gonna get spankings. Hopefully all labs do this and he just grows out of it. I mean, hopefully it's normal. But I really appreciate you guys being here. I really hope you guys enjoyed the 20 gauge little solo hunt that we did. You guys have been requesting me to get out there with the Mossberg 20 gauge pump for quite some time. But like always, if you guys have any video recommendations that you want to see me get out and do, drop them down below in the comment section. I'm always reading all the comments down there. So I really appreciate your guys' input. But again, guys, thank you for the view. Hit that thumbs up button for your boy. And we will see you on the next one. Subscribe if you haven't. Peace. I've been getting laid back, baby, you should know that I don't need your criticism, pessimism I've been keeping it on the DL Got a girl that keeps it real And it's all